All right, Coach Leach, uh, welcome back. Have a big week last week at the Houston Invitational. A number of top ten times. You guys finished third place in a huge event uh, or an invite. You know, talk about uh, last week at Houston. Yeah, it was it was a really good meet for us. Um, you know, we had twenty eight all time top ten swims, which which again last year we almost doubled that number this year. Um, and it's exciting to to see that growth. Last year we were seventh. And this year we were third. We almost doubled our points from last year. So when you look at the overall meet for us, it was a really good meet. Um, a lot of lifetime best times, um, obviously all season and uh, season best times. Um, so, you know, as we progress, we look back on that meet and say, how do we move forward into uh, the rest of the rest of the way, rest of the season, the packs. Um, we, had, we had a lot of great performances um, at, at, out of uh, the team. And, uh, you know, it was just a really good, really good meet for us. Now you shift gears, another national uh, invitational uh, coming up this week, the U.S. Open down in Atlanta. Can you tell us a little bit about, you know, what this meet is uh, for people that don't know? Yeah, it's a USA Swimming sanctioned event. Um, you know, some people call it internationals, U.S. Open. For us, it's, it's another long course meet to qualify for Olympic trials. Um, and also for the, our swimmers that are already qualified, it's a it's a tune up meet where we can we can see where we're at with our with long course swimming, so that when we do get to Olympic trials um, in Omaha uh, in the summertime for Olympic trials, we'll uh, we'll be ready to rock and roll. So we're taking a, gr a small group of eight, and you know I'm excited to see where we're at with our long course swimming. And you know this this meet is a huge meet. Not only do you see obviously high school age swimmers. You see colleges there, and you see professionals um, and Olympians. Um, so it's gonna be it's gonna be a big meet. Thirteen hundred swimmers are entered. We didn't think it was gonna be this big. Most of the time, U.S. Open and 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 AKA Winter Nationals are a relatively smaller event because there's so many other things going on. But I think mo the majority of the coaches out there saw that. Hey, this is a great time tune up for Olympic trials over the summer. So, and then finally, you talked about this is this was part of your fall to winter plan. You, you're, you're practicing. Your training schedule has been leading up to this. You know, where have you at? Have you met those goals? You know, based off the Houston invite and now going into the U.S. Open, have, are you? Where's your program at right now? Uh, you know, fall to winter. Right, right. Um, you know, I'm excited about it. Uh, the, the growth of, of the majority of our program from when, when you know, our freshmen got on campus, our returners got on campus in August till now has been, has been great. Um, obviously, we want more. You know, that's, that's never going to no, – no matter how, how well we continue to improve, we're always going to want to be bigger, faster, stronger, and better. Um, but when you look at the Houston meet, you know, Taylor McCoy had, had all lifetime best times across the board. Um, was is running down is knocking on the door to breaking a lot of our school records. Um, you know, got her got her incidentally like B qualifying time in the 400 IM, sits second all time there. Got closer to the 200 backstroke school record, sits second all time there. Um, her 200 IM was awesome. So you know, we've got 100 backstroke was great. We've got a lot of great things going on. Um, you know, out of our freshman group, um, Kate Ladder out, so I'm really well. Um, posting a lot of all-time top 10 times um, on, in the books, uh, along with uh, Mia. She, she had a great, great 400 IM. And, you know, we need to, we need to get used to pre performing in prelims. Um, you know, for instance, Mia's, Mia's 400 IM in, in prelims put her in the B final. And then she just decided to destroy the whole B final, and her time would have put her in the A final, and probably would have been fourth or fifth. I mean, I, again, I I don't I, I can look at it, but she we need to do that in the morning, and she swam she swam amazing. Uh, that and her fly events were great, um, and then Mache she she had a really good meet. Um, we we had been noticing her training, and we thought she was going to do something, but we just didn't know. And then you know her tuna freestyle was top ten. Uh, 500 freestyles top 10 and so you know we're excited to continue to see the growth of not only our freshmen but of, of our entire program I mean there were other other people that stepped up and, and swam best times like Chloe Larson did did well um, knocking on the door and in, in some school records and you know we just want to continue having people step up um, continue having people make changes 
um, so that we can we can continue the development of this program at, at elite level, and which is a Pac-12. Um, and so I'm excited moving into U.S. Open this week, but then when we get back, it's back to training. We're, we're going to be getting back to some hard work, and some people are going to be sore and tired. But, you know, for our, for our program, you need to be comfortable with being uncomfortable.